and nice to meet you to this new episode of Wikbit. In this season I would like to show you the Yamaha CD-640 CD player, this is this part, and the receiver R840. But first, what we're gonna do is mess the brush. It's a little bit dusty here because this standing on the floor and uh, I must you see the dust ah, so terrible <laughs> go away from my lens and the thing is that I opened this and found out that the thing is so if you connect it with the mains this machine then you can click it on but nothing happened the reason is that if you read the manual of this machine uh, then you can see you need a special cable and this is on the back side. I will show this. I will show you that. Here is the back side of the machine and the important thing is this cable. You see? If you have this special cable not inserted here and on the front not inserted the power and so on then you cannot start the CD player but the CD player have a own built-in power supply that means it's not it's not a external power supply the power supply is inside the CD player and you must connect as well the CD player as well the amplifier and then have a watch which wonder I turned it back now you can switch on this machine and this machine starts is it not nice you need a special cable and if you would like to sell this extra as a CD player you cannot connect it to your new stereo Mm, yeah, but what I would like to change is the drive. The drive is here, and this quality drive uh, we built in now. Um, in case of that, that I heard is defect, and hope so. This is working. Look at this drive. Put it out. Oh, it's a. It's a Sony. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Look, it's a Sony drive. Sony, Sony. Uh -huh. Cool. The precision thing. And we would like to build that in now. Now you can see it from the top. And I would like to make something to build out. Uh, don't forget to disconnect the connectors. Um, and I would like to build that out and uh, first I disconnect this here look and then we build it out here and here And I may disconnect this here. Also, uh, oh, I should open it. Oops, this was not good. This was not good for the for the machine. <laughs> what is here now? I don't understand what. I cannot believe what has happened here. <laughs> what is this? Okay, must give that back in case of that should be go out of here, go out of here. So, so this should be disconnected from here. I like to have this here. Now we are. Uh, <laughs> I think so. You can disassemble it. 
What do you think about my new camera position? Is that good for you to see better or not? Then I can also make the, uh, the thing from the other side is no problem. Yeah, the two screws. Store it here in this <laughs> cup. And now we are, uh -huh, cannot transport it out. Oh, we lift the lift. Put the lift out. Aha, uh -huh, here we can interchange these things, but it needs small screws here. And yeah, it's not it's not so easy then, I think. Uh, we must deinstall this first. And first I must search a small screw. Oh, this is working. Look how small these screws are. <laughs> Don't lose them. Um, in case of... Now we must uh, disconnect this here and the cable. Put it on the side and deinstall or disassemble this. That. Not so easy to see also with the new camera position. Looks like from top to the bottom is better, I think so, but uh, isn't isn't that good. I take the pincet. Now I move that out and hope so. I can build the new one in here. It's the new one. Looks like the same. And uh, what I need is uh, first I need the the pumpers here. Yeah, these are important. You see, I put it out. Oh, they have one side. Look, special. They have one side. Must be orientated. Should be orientated. And here. <laughs> Funny. Uh, and here and here. Here we put that out and here. I put it in well, I hope so. It's good. And here you see it's on this side. The smaller side is the upside. Now we disconnecting this here, connecting the cable back, and uh, we must desolder this point. You see, this point is important to desolder in case of uh, the the thing must be open for the laser. And so I take the soldering iron. Now I will disconnect it from the from this little pipe. You see? Okay. It's open and now we would like to insert the cable. Aha. Uh -huh. Not good. Let's deinstall this. This little screw, look at this screw. Huh. <laughs> it's a tiny one. And uh, we must know we must give them back on the same position. And now we can insert the cable. You see, it's very small. But I hope so on the 4K video you can see it. It's difficult to put it in. Uh-huh. I hope so that the cable is not defect 
too. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's not, not nice. Mm. Then we put it back in position. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, the, where is the mark? <laughs> this is not, huh? So I don't remember where was the screw inside. Was it so like so? Uh huh. It is so. It is here. It is here, and this is not inside. So that means we must first. Uh, we should first install the the tray. Uh, not the tray. The tray. The the laser pickup module <laughs> it's better than the other thing with the cable the cable holder it's better we installed it first I think this position is not so not so good we would like to change the camera position yeah well you see it better if I film it from the side it's better for you you can see where I making the positions and yeah I, th I thought uh, it's better filming from the top but the hands are outside in the way and so it's better I film from the side yeah this is the recognition after I spent a lot of money for the new stativ <laughs> yeah what shall I say I invest and <laughs> then the result is not the, is what I thought. <laughs> uh, maybe I need a second camera and I can switch in between. So, this is good, looks good. I'm closing the deck. And this is the old one, I uh, think. I, maybe I write old on it or so, stuff like this. Then we must connect it to the to the system and hope so that is working. So I must interchange everything. Now you can see that. I must connect it first here to this connector. Uh -huh, it's in the other way, it's in the other side, look here. Then this we should connect on this side. Oh, so you can see. <laughs> okay, that's good. This is the this part, and uh, we should bring them in. It's not so easy. Okay, but this is the correct side. We must uh, be careful with these cables. Maybe they are old and like a little bit. And then this one. So, behind that, okay. And now we must install that. This is always, this is always a dusty. We say we clean it up, but not over the lens, <laughs> only outside, and give them here. And then we are thinking that we can insert this and insert that screw. So I'm thinking and the flat head they are down here. Oops, not magnetic. Ah so. <laughs> what shall I say? 
die are not magnetic, they come out of here. Why it is so, so crazy, huh? <laughs> Look at this, it doesn't come out. It's a little bit magnetic, but not full. Mm -hmm. Okay. Chairs. Falling out with the tray. Okay. Must hold it with the fingers, but this is impossible to hold it with the fingers. I, I think so, they have magnetic or non magnetic things to uh, in the factory. So, okay, and then on the other side. Uh -huh, this go much easier in. So we fix that now. Now we should switch it on. But I must search the CD. No disk. Open the tray. Inserting a disk. And go on. <laughs> Initializing to you see. Play and run. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that was the Yamaha CD640 and the amplifier and controller. 840. Yeah, uh, I changed the laser pickup, and the thing was that the other laser pickup doesn't work anymore, and so I interchanged it to a new one. And the system is complicated. Uh, if you start with no cable, you cannot start the CD player. You need these two machines. If you buy a 640, then you cannot play it on your stereo. It's impossible. You need the cable and the amplifier. It's a whole system, and if you disconnect it, then the CD player cannot start anymore. Yes, if you like my channel, please subscribe, and I say thank you for watching.